16 elements so group 16 members are important there okay so now we will be talking about the effects of so2 what all effect so2 cause so we will be looking at them we will be talking about the effect of so2 first one is it is highly corrosive and thus cause first weight and strength loss of materials second leaf injury or discoloration to the plant leaves third it also causes so2 produces the synergistic effect with aerosols which is more detrimental which is more detrimental for the human health for example this so2 when mixed up with particulate matter so this form london smog or classical smog which is a mixture of so2 plus particulate matter right now we will be talking about health effects of so2 so as you can see it is highly water soluble so most likely absorb in moist passage of upper respiratory tract which is trachea and bronchi where it does long term damage then addition of so2 into aerosol produces london smog or classical smog which happened in 1952 so this is also called as sulfurous smoke or reducing type of smog or also called as foggy air so this point has to be remember they asked this many time right and this is a very important aspect so that's why i am mentioning you again and again SO2 also contributes in the formation of H2SO4 which is basically the main component of acid rain as all of you know and the reaction which are mentioned here the first two reactions are somewhat so you can start from this reaction or you can see any standard book about it in the environment first the H2SO3 combines with water to form H2SO4 and how this is brought up by the first reaction SO2 will combine with water to form H2SO3 and this in H2SO3 will combine with water to form H2SO4 in the second step so in this manner this reaction is brought out in environment now we will be talking something about the nitrous oxide or nox so nox as we have mentioned and this is a very good question in most of the competitive examination the component of nox so nox is the indeterminate mixture of no nitric oxide and no2 nitrogen dioxide so it is a indeterminate mixture of nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide means nox is a mixture of no plus no2 however nitrogen forms seven oxide in total which are no no2 no3 n2o n2o3 n2o4 n2o5 so in total nitrogen is having seven oxides but the major area of all interest in air pollution is nox which comprise of no and no2 so this point has to be remember but out of these only two are the major air pollutant which is no and no2 so remember this thing this is a very a repetitive question in most of the competitive examination that major air pollutant of nitrogens are no and no2 and when it comes for the measurement of nox so the modern analyzers which are used to measure nox nowadays based on the kemen lunis technique and the information is mentioned in our supplementary book where you can have a look that at with the help of which techniques it is measured if you talk about sources of nox so we'll be talking about the sources sources of nox first so we have 
thermal knocks. So we have two type of knocks. One is called as thermal knocks, and another one is called as fuel knocks or combustion knocks. So when we talk about thermal knocks, so it is created when N2 and O2 in the combustion air are heated to a high enough temperature to oxidize N2. At high temperature, N2 from air can be oxidized into NOx. So, if we take a simple example, let us suppose a tailpipe or an engine. So, NO is forms in the engine, and when it comes out in contact with the atmospheric air, okay, then it get converted into NO2. Right, and if somebody asks you that what is emitted from the tailpipe means that is NO, and immediately it comes in contact with the atmosphere, it gets converted into NO2. So as such, there is no NO which comes out of the tailpipe, and it gets converted into NO2 mostly. The second type of NOx is fuel NOx or combustion NOx. So second type of NOx is fuel NOx. Or combustion NOx. So, fuel NOx or combustion NOx results from oxidation of nitrogen compound that are chemically bound in fuel. Means the fuels which contain the compound having nitrogen molecules themselves more percentage contribution so if we talk about percentage wise then contribution wise then fuel NOx is always greater than greater than thermal NOx this question I have been mentioned many times so fuel NOx is always greater than greater than thermal NOx coming to the next point different fuels have different amount of nitrogen in them for example coal having the coal having as much as 3% nitrogen by weight while the natural gas having none means natural gas do not contain any nitrogen about 95 percent of the anthropogenic NOx emissions are in the form of NO so generally these emissions are in the form of NO and immediately they come in contact with the atmosphere they get converted into NO2 so about 95% of the atmosphere anthropogenic NOx emissions are in the form of NO which is a colorless gas and have no known adverse effect at atmospheric concentration means as such NO is not a pollutant at atmospheric concentration it is particularly NO2 which is formed from the oxidation of NO which cause bronchitis which is referred to as inflammation of bronchi, pneumonia and irritation of lungs. So these are the problems which is caused by NO2. So as such NO is not a problem but the oxidation product NO2 is a problem. Right? Okay. Then next point NOx also reacts with VOCs means volatile organic compounds in the presence of sunlight and forms photochemical oxidant. So NOx is one of the precursor of photochemical smog or oxidants. NO2 reacts with OH radical which is called as hydroxyl radical and this hydroxyl radical which is very much important in the atmosphere. This is also called as atmospheric scavenger, atmospheric detergent, most reactive oxygen species, this OH radical. In the atmosphere to form nitric oxide that corrode metal surface and contribute to acid rain problem. So this is not nitric oxide, this is nitric acid which is HNO3. So I know to react with OH radical, hydroxyl radical in the atmosphere to form nitric acid that corrode metal surface and contribute to acid rain problem. HNO3 which is nitric acid also damage plant and is also a strong contribution 
to eutrophication in the case of estuary because nitrogen is limiting there as we have mentioned in our earlier discussion that in case of marine water eutrophication is basically caused by nitrogen because marine water bodies are limited in nitrogen while terrestrial water bodies are limited in phosphorus NO2 is responsible for reddish brown color in the brown smoke or also sometimes referred to as brown haze even in the badly polluted areas NOx concentration is not enough which can cause bronchitis which is inflammation of bronchi and other problems but its role in the formation of secondary pollutant make it a much dangerous pollutant so NOx are basically involved in the formation of secondary pollutant which put it into the category of dangerous pollutant now we will be talking about the effect of NOx on material so it causes corrosion of nickel brass fading of textile dyes cause the loss of strength in textile cause a lot of loss of strength in textile effects on plants if we talk about is cause chlorosis which is loss of chlorophyll or chlorophyll deficiency okay then uh, now we will be moving on to particulate matter and before we move ahead we will be judging the details of these particulate matter in depth because this